In this video, we're going to look at how to use dynamic regions inside your PowerShell Universal dashboards. Dynamic regions allow you to specify a section of code that you can refresh manually. Uh, it loads dynamically when the page loads, or you can uh, refresh on an interval. So to define a dynamic region, you're going to use the new UD dynamic commandlet. So this particular commandlet uh, accepts an ID and a content block. Um, inside the content block, this code will be run every single time the page is loaded. So for example, if I save this um, and come over to my universal page, we'll just make it a little bigger, you can see that this is the, the time that the page actually loaded. If I click the refresh button, you're going to notice that the page time changes. This is because we're in a dynamic region and it's rerunning that particular script block every single time um, this uh, page is reloaded. So in addition to being able to kind of load things on the fly dynamically, you can also refresh these either on an interval or manually. So to refresh it on an interval, what you're going to do is you're going to use the auto refresh uh, switch parameter. By default, it's 10 seconds, but we can actually change that to an auto refresh interval of one. And what you'll notice when I save this is that we effectively have a little clock because the uh, dynamic region is refreshing every second. It is coming back and it's calling get date. Uh, and we're using new UD typography to actually output that date. And you can see that the date then is outputting um, that new uh, time every second. So we just have a ticking clock. In addition to uh, auto refreshing on an interval, we can also refresh manually um, kind of when the user takes action. So we're going to get rid of the auto refresh interval. And I'm actually going to add a button to this page where the user can click it and refresh the date and time. So this button just has the text of refresh. And then when this button is clicked, we're going to call sync UD element. So sync UD element can be used on various commandlets or controls, um, but uh, kind of most commonly it's used on dynamics. So you need to specify the ID of the dynamic that you want to refresh. And when you call sync UD element, what it's going to do is it's going to cause this script block to run again, and then it will output that code or that component's value to the page. So we'll save that, and now we'll come back here, and you can see that the, the ticking has stopped. It's no longer ticking seconds. But if I click the refresh button, the time will update because it's pretty much specifying that I want to update that dynamic region. So while a trivial example uh, of kind of a date time here, um, you can actually use any component inside a um, UD typography. So typically users will use tables, charts, uh, anything you kind of want to either update um, dynamically when a user takes action or maybe on an interval when things change. So for example, uh, network usage or um, you know, bandwidth, that kind of thing, you might want to update that periodically. So you can actually put that in a dynamic and update it on an interval. Um, like I said, you may want to update it when the user takes action with something like sync UD element. So in this video, we looked at how to use new UD dynamic to uh, update dynamic regions inside your PowerShell universal dashboards.